What's up everybody? Backcountry Pursuit Season 2. Yeah. First season wasn't that great. But anyway, you all gotta, you gotta start somewhere, right? Um, super excited. It's September 2nd. Um, we got a whole lot of filming we're gonna do. I got a whole bunch of memory cards. I got new equipment. I got new lenses. I got a new GoPro. I'm hoping to catch way more footage. Stuff that I haven't seen in the woods that I just had a hard time catching on the camera um, and I'm hoping we get a little more elk action uh, last year was just a little rough uh, no ex there was no excuse about that I just I felt it was a little rough and then I started talking to a bunch of other my buddies and they were they were this, this it was the same feedback last year so even that was just jumping location to location I mean they were there but they weren't so I don't I don't know but that was that's behind us we're going forward and i got some new gear reviews coming out um it's hot man it's hot when i drove up here we're at 80 uh we are at 9067 feet and the jeep was reading 91 degrees so Wah, tactics for this first couple weeks might be a little rough i think we're probably going to do a lot of water maybe some wallows um I just got to camp. Welcome to the Clampton 2.0. This thing is sweet, man. Oh, it's gonna make life so much easier. I can store everything, camera gear, bow, gear, all of it, and be very comfortable. So I'm pretty stoked about that. That's the base camp. We probably won't hunt out of this the whole month, but at least it's here. Um, we can always come back to it. But man, I'm super excited so glad you're here to join me on another adventure if anything just learn from my failures and that's the whole point of these videos is just learn from my failures if even yes everybody wants to succeed it's tough this is a general hunt i didn't draw this year we're gonna probably put the same tactics as last year into it you know we're gonna start off high with the early season work our way to that mid-season the only good news is that for this year, so for last year I did a lot of weekend warrior stuff. This year I actually have a scheduled block off from the 21st to the 26th. So, hoping not to miss prime time. But, like I said, a little hot, so we're going to start off in water probably in the morning. I was going to try to get some hunting in tonight, but I got a lot of stuff to put away. And I want to make sure I got everything ready, the packs ready to go, because the first hike in the morning will probably be... You know, it's always, the, it's, always, it's always the rough one. So we want to make sure lunch is good, water is good. Got our tag in there. I know that for sure. Um, get the bow ready, make sure everything's good on that. And uh, I'll probably set up a target back here and do a little shooting tonight and just make sure everything's dialed in so when that first light in the tomorrow morning, we can really hammer it. So thank you again for joining me for Season 2 of Backcountry Pursuit. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, just shoot me a message on Facebook. You can get me on Facebook or Instagram on Backcountry Pursuit. Um, I want to uh, do a big thanks, big shout out to uh, Wind River Outdoor Company. Man, the the stuff that I've got outfitted, and I'm going to go over some new stuff that I got this year. Um, man, it's going to change the way I'm trying to do this. Not only that you have to have hunting gear, but you also have to have... The camera gear stuff so and i got a pretty cool dude at when that works at wind river um he's super geeky about this stuff and he's helped me out a long ways this summer um so we're ready to hit it and hopefully i can get some good footage and uh and i'm really hoping we get into elk if you know what i'm saying like because it is just it's you know you wait 11 months and it's time so let's get it morning well decided to wait to let the sun come up a little bit just because we're going to be hunting right off this bottom so 
No sense walking in the dark. Don't really need to. I mean, as soon as I bust over camp, we're gonna be gonna be in elk country. And I was lazy. I bought some of the Black Rifle coffee cans. I got the actual coffee up here too, but these are for those mornings I get to take a little extra siesta. I don't have to get up and cook anything. Well, let's kick off uh, season two. Hopefully we return something up. I'm pretty excited. I haven't heard much last night. Heard some moo cows. I've got, got that coming up. Got that going for us. <laughs> but, uh, let's go see if we can find water. Let's go see if we can find sign. I think that's my biggest tactic today. It's just, since I haven't been up here all year, just kind of kind of see what things are doing. Hopefully we can find a lot of sign and go from there. Then I can strategize for tomorrow, more or less. This is going to be more of a scout day, but let's see what we can turn up. Come on, let's go. this look let's make my butt look back <laughs> all right let's get serious so i got a bowl on this back side okay so now in theory i should be on the bottom side i just came off <laughs> just came off a freaking avalanche shoot Whew. so since i am by myself i'm gonna throw a couple more bugles out there
where he's at. That's pretty pretty crazy, but <clears throat> it's already eight. Any minute the thermos are gonna start going up this hill, so what I wanna do. I'm gonna jump down here. And it's not one of my favorite places to go, but I can get on the back side of him. The bummer it is just that too early, you know. This one had a prime time, it'd been blowing up. Mm. Yeah, that's why a weird part of me wants to just back off anyway. But I think if I do this, I'll, I'll keep it safe, I won't blow them out of here. And what's really cool, it's a little tactic I learned is if there's cows in the area, the noise don't matter, you can kind of get after it. That's kind of that's pretty nice. Especially in the early season. I mean, they're down there just walking and doing their thing, and they're making all sorts of rugged. And that elk didn't seem to mind, so you just, I just kind of follow there. They're heading the same kind of direction I want to go, so I'm just going to kind of follow them, and then I'm going to split up, get up on top of this knob, hang out for a little bit. It's really dark in there, so I don't know. Not a bad day one. I did not expect to <laughs> drop all the way down here yet. I was kind of saving this for a later week, but. It's elk hunting, right? Once they start talking, you almost forget what you're doing. So, let's try to go find a good route to get up there. And if I remember right, there's water back there too, so we might actually just chill. If there's a lot of sign in that spot, I'm just gonna hang out for a while. I mean, it's it's supposed to be hot today, so it'd be kind of nice to just catch one coming to drink or something but yeah it's a whole bunch of what ifs <laughs> not a bad first day I'm not disappointed at all so all right let's go get it Found two bowls. I'm hoping the audio will pick up the one, but the other one's way down there. He was kind of, he was kind of feeding up. I want to kind of stay away from that one. He's, he went, he didn't look bugged or anything, but he didn't answer to any of my calls. He just kind of blew me off. So we'll just leave him alone for a later date. Right now, I'm gonna cut around. We're gonna go up on this backside. Um, check this out, though. That's something I didn't know. That's a pretty sweet meadow. spring. I don't know. I do know. <laughs> First like sucks. I don't know. Oh, take me a little seat. and it's kind of pain in the but it, there we go. Well, I think with that new lens too, it, it um, a little bit extra weight. So yeah, um, 10 o'clock. I think 
scoot, like I said, we'll just scoot up this valley and start getting into some of that dark timber. I, the only bad news about timber is I just, you never know if they're in front of you. You can be walking right on them, you don't know it. Especially early season, you just, they don't talk. So, you have a chance of bumping elk, and I don't like bumping elk, especially if I want to come back to this place. If you bump them enough, they're going to get over it and leave. So, that's my thoughts for the day. All right. Maybe we'll find some greener, better grass. Hopefully. Well, that was terrible. Not too bad. Good morning. Good morning. Can't complain. Got a, an elk that was in the vicinity. Kind of replaying that in my head. I think I was a day late, dollar short kind of deal. Because where he was at, I mean, literally, he'd have been right downwind from me. So, he didn't sound like he busted out of there. I just, I bet he just got out of there. Or when he made that, when he bugled or chuckled. He probably realized, whoops, shouldn't be doing that. It's too early. Then we got to see a moose. Got to see two deer first first thing this morning. It was a good morning. Man, it was a good morning. Got back. I was going to have a snack, but I think I'm going to decided to boil some brats up. And then we'll get reset, check the bag, change the batteries, and... Uh, Get ready for an evening. We're going to go the uh, totally opposite way. We're actually going to go higher. And then on the way out uh, this evening, or this morning, I found a little access area. I think it would be a lot easier to get to that. Uh, there's a couple other wallows up, and they're about 97, 97, 9,800 feet. So um, we're going to check out the high side of things and not the low side. I think where that elk was, that was probably roughly 80... If I had, I didn't, I didn't, should have looked, but I'm guessing 84, 85, so. But now, since it's the first weekend, again, we're just scouting. So we're going to check out the high side. We're going to go close to 10,000 and uh, see what we got up there or what, what kind of activities on that direction or if they're sign-wise or whatever. But we get some of these brats in me and some chips, some Mountain Ops BCAs, best thing ever. And we're going to hammer, we're going to keep hammering and go from there. I gotta show you something. Now that's a rub. What's super cool about that rub? So it goes all the way around. See it? There's the best part. The very top. Let me see if I can get a visual.
That's what the Titans hit. That's a big pull. It's <laughs> a big pull. But look at this stuff I'm in now. Look how thick it is. It's hard, maybe it's hard to see, but. It's super thick. Oh, look, there's another one. that old daddy when they're that big they're pretty smart though hmm. kind of cool figured something to show you thought that was pretty interesting especially how he gosh debarked this whole tree almost take that home and use it as a railing <laughs> back tearing it up Another day in paradise, I guess. Love it. I guess it beats it up. Bad day here, which is this, this is not a bad day, this is a great day, but a bad day here is a better better than a good day at work. It's kinda hard though, the sun is freaking bright and it's hot. I might go up a little bit further and find some shade. <laughs> 